Hello everybody and welcome to day 23 of my beginner sewing course. I hope you are well and today we are learning how to make a puff sleeve. At first I wanted to show you how to draft your own puff sleeve pattern and then I remembered that this is a beginner sewing class, not a pattern making class. So um, I just made a digital file that you can download and print at home so that you can cut out your pattern and we can make it together. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first step obviously is to cut out your pattern and tape it together. And then you're just going to grab a piece of scrap fabric and pin, and pin your pattern to it. Alright, now that that's pinned, we're just going to cut it. Be careful not to cut your cat <laughs> at this point. <laughs> Alright, all done. Now you can take out your pins. And this is what you're left with. So let me just explain what we're going to do now. So the first thing I like to do is to hem this part. Um, that's like the bottom of the sleeve because when you place it like that, um, I don't know if you can imagine this being a sleeve, <laughs> but it is. Uh, right now it's a very big sleeve, but that's because it's puff. So I like to hem that. Um, you don't have to overlock it, but that's what I like to do um, with the serger. Or, I mean, with your sewing machine. Um, and then about like two uh, or like two and a half inches from the bottom, um, we're going to sew with an elastic thread. And then right here, um, we're going to do some gathering stitches. So two lines of basting stitches that we're going to gather. For this part, the amount of gathering that you're going to need depends on your project. So if your armhole is... I don't know, <laughs> let me just like um, seven inches. You're going to make this um, gathered to seven inches. So it has to fit that armhole because that's the part that goes in the armhole. And the elastic thread here is going to be around your arm, like here. So that's why we put elastic so that it's comfortable. Okay, so now I'm searching the straight edge of my sleeve. <laughs> to this by now okay so now i'm just going to fold this twice to do my hem and so along this edge right here actually what i'm going to do for less bulk is just fold it once and then sew along this edge right here there we go and now I'm going to sew my two rows of basting stitches all around this edge right here. Um, so we're going to put our stitch length at five and don't forget to leave a tail at the beginning and the end of your seam. Let's start sewing. tail and we're going to sew another one right next to it now leave a tail and cut it off this is what it should look like and now we are going to sew the elastic um like right along here i'd say like at the middle middle would be pretty good maybe a little underneath that so like right here and I'm actually gonna draw a line with chalk to make it more precise okay I'll do one inch and a quarter Okay, now we have our line. So um, put elastic thread in your bobbin 
and let's start sewing. And I forgot to mention it, but um, I drew my line on the right side of the fabric because the elastic thread is in the bottom thread, so it's going to be on the wrong side. That's what we want. like it's already starting to look more like a puff all right so now you're gonna grab your puff sleeve and a measuring tape because we are going to gather um, those stitches to the armhole length so I just measured my armhole because I don't have like a pattern to attach this to uh, so I'm just gonna use my own armhole measurement which is 19 and that's how much I'm gonna gather so let's just see um, how long this is Thirty one inches. Okay, so I'm gonna have to bring that thirty one to nineteen or actually I'm gonna add some seam allowance to that um, Half an inch on both sides. So I'm going to bring it to 20 Because 19 plus two half an inch so like one inch equals 20 <laughs> so let's gather take the two top threads Oops. And pull on them. So right now I'm just spreading the gathers a little bit so they're not like too scrunched up here. Like um I want them to only be gathered at the top as you can see, but it was just a little too gathered there. So now I'm happy with the gathers and it's the right length, so 20 inches for me. I'm just going to tie a knot at the end here. Okay, now we can trim off our threads. Okay, so now it looks more like a sleeve, doesn't it? Um, what we're going to do is place both sides, right sides together. So like this is the right side, so right side to right side. And we're going to pin right here, because that's where we are going to sew. Okay, let's take it to the sewing machine. So just stretch out the elastic here before you start sewing. And don't forget to backstitch. And since we sewed with a half inch seam allowance on both sides, that's one inch. So um, this is going to be, this circle here is going to be 19 inches, which is perfect for us. So the next step is to attach this to the armhole of your shirt or dress or whatever. Um, you're going to be attaching it um, like on this side, right? And when you do... Um, the stitch you're going to uh, be sewing is going to secure all those gathers. So that's why we don't have to secure them now. So when you're sewing it, make sure that um, you're sewing the sleeve and the shirt right sides together. So right here is your seam. This is what the puff sleeve looks like from the right side. So your shirt is going to be here and this is the sleeve. This one is very, very big. <laughs> I love it. And it's that simple. As you can see, we used a lot of um, the tools that we learned during this course. So the gathering stitch, the um, shirring, and the overlock stitch. And there you have it. You have made your very own puff sleeve. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, for your homework, I would say just try to make the puff sleeve. Um, that's it. You don't have to make it like... Uh, a couple of times just make sure that you really understand the con the concept of how to make one and at least make the one and yeah that's pretty much it so i will see you tomorrow